Hey there folks, this is Jason with uh, Croker's Creek Bushcraft and Survival. Uh, today I've tested out the Beeman 1022 LVC, purchased at Canadian Tire. Uh, as I stated in my other videos that you will see, uh, this pellet gun shoots at 495 feet per second. Uh, I'm shooting a heavier uh, 19 grain Crossman pellet through it. Uh, it comes with a 177 and a 22 caliber barrel that is easily changed via this little hex screw right here that you change with an allen key and the safety is right there uh this firearm well it's not really a firearm this air rifle uh automatically engages the safety when you cock it uh, it does take some effort to cock out of the box um I've had this pellet gun oh, about a week now. Uh, it was purchased at Canadian Tire in Napanee, Ontario, up here in Canada. Um, here in Canada, our pellet guns have to be under 495 feet per second muzzle velocity uh, in order to purchase without a firearms license. Now, this pellet rifle is grooved for a scope. It came with a Beeman scope, which I found I could zero and then the scope would not retain zero um, I have removed the scope and with the true glow uh, fiber optic sights which I will quickly show you here um, I was easily able to attain less than a one inch group at 10 meters I will be posting a video of me shooting this at roughly 8 to 10 meters at a can of uh, coconut milk and you will see that it is you know a very efficient uh, gun for your bug out bag or your uh, you know survival needs uh, it's not labeled as a takedown but if you use the hex key that comes with it uh, you can obviously use it as a takedown it has a neat little compartment here that in the buttstock that you just screw and comes off like, like so and it is empty when you get it uh, you can use it to store extra pellets or the uh, the wrenches that come with it for the scope and for the that it also comes with an extra one of those uh, hex screws uh, in case you lose that one as well as a rubber breech seal um, but what I've done with this is I put at the bottom the the tools for the the gunner in there um, but in here I have cotton ball I have, as you can see, a piece of wire. There's a small piece of fatwood. Uh, there's some matches in a Ziploc bag with a striker pad. Uh, there is uh, two small jigs and some fishing line, uh, as well as uh, about a dozen pellets uh, in a little baggie. Uh, and I can't remember if I said it or not, but I do believe there's a little piece of fatwood. Plus, there is a little folding kind of razor type knife uh, that I have in there uh, as kind of a little mini survival kit if you will uh, the idea is that you know if you're out walking the trails and you're grouse hunting and you know you get turned around and you have to spend the evening you know in the woods of northern ontario um you know you can build a fire or catch a fish or possibly take a grouse um this like i said this little gun is more than capable of taking grouse and rabbit sized game at i wouldn't shoot further than 10 yards I wouldn't, you know, like humanely, no. Um, you know, you may get lucky and, and, you know, with a headshot as such, but I've actually sat here in the backyard and uh, have successfully taken at a range of 10 to 12 yards several uh, common grackles that are invading the girlfriend's uh, bird feeder. So that is my review. Uh, this little air rifle, I would give... Uh, scale of 1 to 10 I'm going to give it a 7 uh, maybe a 7.5 uh, for complete package uh, for accuracy I'm going to give it a 7 simply because only the iron sights are accurate the scope is very hard to dial in and it's no good as you know with Springer air rifles uh, they're very hard on scopes uh, so I would not recommend it uh, ease of cocking it's very stiff uh, especially out of the box and the trigger pull is very hard uh, as well as I'm not a fan of the location of the safety 
and I do not like the fact that once the safety has been disengaged, you cannot re-engage it. You have to discharge the, the gun. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, I would give it an overall rating of, of about a 7.5. Uh, for power, though, it gets a 9. For, for uh, impact power with the heavier pellets and penetration and such, I would give it a 9. Would I recommend this uh, little gun? Yes, I would. This is not for children. This is not something you're going to buy your 10-year-old. Uh, this is a teenager or adult air rifle. Uh, and like I said, it would be a great addition to your bug out bag or your, uh, you know, emergency preparedness kit. Take care and have a good day, folks.